Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is something Saturday where we talk about things we didn't get to talk about the rest of the week. And with Robert England actually telling Variety he's stepping down as Freddy Krueger, this could very well lead to a resurgence in a possible reboot. So we're going to kind of talk about what we know about possible reboots that are happening as well as kind of dive into why Robert England is officially giving up the role. So let's jump into it. All right, so Robert England, after nearly 40 years of playing Freddy Krueger, has officially decided it's time to hang up the hat. That's right, the fedora is going up. And we already know that they had recast Freddy in the reboot because Robert England kind of said he was getting a little bit too old to play the part. But this is more confirmation what he told Variety recently. He said that he has a neck injury. He can't do fight scenes more than one take. So, you know, that's important because fight scenes often do take more than one take to do and he just can't physically do it anymore. And he has arthritis in his right hand. So he knows that it is time for him to hang, hang up the Fendora and kind of give up the striped sweater and let someone else take over the role. And the remake was controversial at the time because it made Freddy Krueger more than just a child killer. And if you know, you know. And that was kind of the thing about the movie that a lot of people that I know really didn't like. The remake making him more than a child killer. So I could see why people don't like the reboot if they don't like it. But it wasn't the actor's fault. And Robert England kind of tells Variety this. He feels as though what they did origin-wise with Freddy Krueger in the reboot actually hurt the movie. But he sees that they can move forward with someone new and do a new reboot of the movie and it would be okay. He told Variety about some of his past jobs and some of the things that he's done are amazing because he says that he's not an icon. That he is just some character actor who got lucky. And I beg to differ because in this interview he says that he tried out for the role of Han Solo in Star Wars. But he had a roommate who was an unknown actor I'm sure none of you have heard of named Mark Hamill who he decided to tell to go and audition for the role of Luke Skywalker. That's right, Freddy Krueger is responsible for the iconic Luke Skywalker you know and love today. Then, if you like the movie Halloween, he, he spent time bringing dead leaves to turn Pasadena, California into a Midwest street for the movie Halloween. And then he got his big break playing Willie in the V Alien series. First in the miniseries and then in the series itself. It was during a break in filming V that Robert England auditioned for the Wes Craven horror movie, A Nightmare on Elm Street, that would ultimately change his path forever, making him one of the most iconic horror stars ever. And it's rightly so. It's earned. He can say that he's not an icon, that he's just a character actor that got lucky, but replacing him isn't going to be an easy task. Luckily for us... He has an idea of who could actually replace him. For years now, he has been lobbying to get Kevin Bacon to replace him as Freddy Krueger. And I can actually see this as a casting choice. I can see Kevin Bacon doing the role. And 
I agree with Robert England. There's something about the way he moves, about his mannerisms that would actually allow him to make a decent Freddy Krueger. I can see this happening. But he's not the only one lobbying for the role of Freddy Krueger if there is another reboot. Devin Sawa, who actually is known for the Final Destination movies, which are also getting a reboot. And he is also known for playing several roles in the Chucky Child's Place TV series is lobbying to be our next Freddy Krueger, saying in a tweet that he would love to take on the iconic role. Now, he is kind of this thin guy who could possibly pull this off. I don't know. He plays several roles in the Child's Play series, so that is kind of something in his favor. Now, he may be one of the people who wants to play the iconic role, but Elijah Wood and his Spectre Vision producing partner, David Noah, have actually made an effort to get rights to the Nightmare on Elm Street series. And they have been lobbying to do this for a few years now, even going so far as to communicate with the rights owners of the Nightmare on Elm Street, which I believe would be the West Craven Estate. And the West Craven Estate and them have been in talks, so who knows? Now, I don't know if Elijah Wood would want to actually play Freddy Krueger if this film would get off the ground. If his, ver if his version of the film would get off the ground, would he want to play him? Who knows? And could you see Elijah Wood, Frodo, as Freddy Krueger? I don't know. It could happen. But the thing of it is... There are several people lined up who want to make this project work. And with Robert England talking about it now, it kind of brings back into the limelight these people who are continuously talking about doing it. Jason Blum of Blumhouse Films has been very open about wanting to do a Nightmare on Elm Street film. And Guy Busick, who was the co-writer on Scream 2022 and Scream 6, wants to write a Friday the 13th film and a Nightmare on Elm Street film. So that is very, very telling right there that someone like that would want to do it. But they are not the only ones. Mike Flanagan, who also did The Midnight Club, for Netflix, which starred Heather Lagenkamp, who is that kind of reoccurring foil to Freddy Krueger. They talked about his script, which he's had ready for a very long time, and they talked about it a lot. He just don't really know where to send it. Now, that's important because she has gone on record as saying she would love to face off against Freddy Krueger one last time. Now, with all of that going on and Robert England stepping down and all these big-name stars attached and all these big-name producers and writers really wanting to make this film happen, I do think that we're approaching a time when this could potentially start to happen, especially since some of them, if not all of them, would begin to start talking to the Wes Craven estate about the film. And I think that that would be a very good thing for them to do. And Robert England himself has said that while he can't physically do the role, he would love to also do a cameo. So we kind of want to know what you guys think about all of this information. Does any of this excite you? Do you think we're going to get that film? So make sure you leave us a comment in the comment below letting us know what you think. Also, share this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation as well. Smash that like button as hard as you can. It's free and it definitely helps the channel. Miko says we need more subscribers and you don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video we do. And then friends, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Fandom is family.